We're here with the Chesapeake Semester from the Center for Environment and Society at Washington College. The premise behind the Chesapeake Semester is to get students, meeting with watermen, artists, policymakers, the whole nine. What's important not to look just at science or economics, but things like art, because art is a lens through which people express their feelings about an issue. So an artist like Mark Castelli clearly finds something that he feels passionate about out there. It really shows you the life of a waterman. It's such kind of a hidden world. I have been painting things on the water for over 30 years. The last 15 years I have concentrated on the Chesapeake Bay, mainly watermen and the Eastern Shore. I like these men. They're great people to be with. They're rough as cobs, they have an incredible sense of humor, and they teach me all kinds of information. I'm also creating a record for those who wish to use it to teach with. A waterman is one of the last hunter-gatherers the world has. It's a culture that is based around the water. Mark has gained the trust of the waterman. He really captures what a waterman does. The painting part is my passion for what they do. It is my obsession with water and the way light plays on it. And it's way cool. Robbie and Sam have worked this river for over 30 years, and they're good at it. It really shows how physical the life of a waterman is. Father and son, they're working the pound net. It looks like they're about to tip, but just pulling in the net as hard as they can. This tells the whole story of the Chesapeake for me. Individual owner operators, small boats, inshore fishing, estuary. This is just as much a learning experience for those of us who are on the faculty and staff as it is for the students. We got to see a little bit more of their world. This is living history. 